over you today. This is the day you are coming out of that affliction. This is the day you are coming out. This is the day you are coming out. One man shall say there is a casting down. I shall say there is a lifting up. Why? Because I am carrying the master. But because the donkey was carrying Jesus, he was stepping on health, stepping on victory, stepping on breakthrough, stepping on prosperity. Without a clear understanding of purpose, people invest their energy, invest their passion, doing things they were never meant to do. Poverty thinking people cry for money, fast for money, pray for money, but covenant thinking people cry for wisdom. God said, see. He said, it is something you need to understand. It is not something I must force on you. It is a revelation that you must catch for yourself. Because what you cannot see in God, you cannot experience from God. He said to Abraham, he said, look around you. As far as your eyes can see, what you cannot see, God cannot give. Exodus 7 verse 1 And the Lord said unto Moses See I have made you a God to Pharaoh Sharing on the part 2 A God to Pharaoh A God to Pharaoh Part 2 You see God had given Moses an assignment a major destiny responsibility and Moses was about to set out uh, but something happened along the line in the last verse of chapter 6 and Moses told God he said you know the impediment in my life you know the disadvantage in my life I don't know how to speak well it will happen that when I stand before Pharaoh Pharaoh would not want to listen to me and God looked at Moses and I believe God must have laughed and God said what you are afraid of is afraid of you Moses understood this i have made you a god to pharaoh you are you you are intimidated there thinking that your position is stronger than you but i have made you a god to your position he said i will so do it that pharaoh will not just listen to you pharaoh will fear you are you understanding me now i i i will so make it happen that pharaoh will not just listen pharaoh will tremble what does that tell you all the things virtually all that you are afraid of in life are afraid of you virtually all all you need is to come to the realization of who you are is somebody with me now understand this now no devil is strong enough to frustrate you without your permission no demon is strong enough to deny you your new season without your cooperation. So this year, 2014, you must walk with this consciousness. I am a God to Pharaoh. And we explain who Pharaoh is. Pharaoh is anything in your life trying to, to challenge the authority of your God. Pharaoh is any condition in your life that wants to keep you in an Egypt experience, a slavery experience. Pharaoh is any opposition to your prophecy. Pharaoh is any impediment to your destiny. You must come to understand today that what God said to Moses, God is also saying to you this evening, I have made you a God to Pharaoh. Is someone here now? Understand this, brothers and sisters. The foundation of all oppression is identity related. Uh, just follow me close so you can understand now. The foundation of every attack is a question of identity. It's an identity issue. Every time the devil tries you, every time the devil releases an attack, release a challenge, the devil wants to know if you know who you are. 
the devil wants to know if you know who is behind you scripture shows us in genesis chapter 3 verse 1 and the devil confronted eve and the devil began to ask her some funny questions as god said what did god tell you everything the devil was trying to do was to check if they knew who they were and the devil began to play games and because adam and eve did not know what the benefit of interacting with god had made available to them they fell for the trick of the devil and they were cheated out of destiny everything the devil was promising them they will be they already were are you getting me now everything you will, you will be like god they were already like god but they didn't know at the root of every attack is an identity issue. The devil trying to check if you really know what being under this grace has made available to you. Is somebody with me now? You know, this is not just a church. This is a grace. Are you getting me now? Uh, it's not just a building. It's not just some fine place to sit down and hear some sermon from the Bible. This is a grace. So every time an attack on your health comes, any time an attack on your finances comes, what the devil is trying to do is to check if you know who you are. And the devil tried this to the second Adam. Jesus. In Luke chapter 4 verse 1. And the devil began to play games. Jesus returned in power. And in verse 3, look at this now. Identity. In verse 3, the devil met him and said, If indeed you are the son of God, turn this stone to bread. Are you seeing it now? Identity. And Jesus replied him. The reply of Jesus was coming from a depth. I don't need you to be who I am. I don't need your validation to express my identity. I, 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 scripture says, after Jesus replied him, after Jesus spoke to him, in verse 13, the Bible says, and the devil departed. Like scripture says in James chapter 4 verse 7, resist the devil. Like I said yesterday, and he will fly. Is somebody getting me now? And that's what scripture says now. Resist the devil and he will fly away. Understanding who you are in God. I have made you a God to Pharaoh. Friends, every battle you've been going through, including the one you are going through now, is just to check if you know who you are. It's just to check if you know the almightiness of the almighty behind you. It's just to check if you know if you have been redeemed. It's just to check whether you know what the power of fellowshipping with God has made available to you. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. In any way they have cheated you. In any way they have cheated you from getting testimonies. As you say amen now there's a reversal now. There is a reversal now. There is a restoration now. There is a restoration now. Shout a loud amen. So every time the devil sees you talking like a servant instead of a king. He sees you talking like the depressed instead of the redeemed. He sees you talking like the victim instead of the winner. He's excited. You know why? Man's ignorance is the devil's delight. Nothing excites the devil like your ignorance. When he can see that you don't even know who you are. So you don't know what the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus has made available to you. You are still talking like this. He's excited. That's why the devil will do anything to prolong your ignorance. Is somebody getting me here? A great man once said, there is no mountain anywhere. Every man's ignorance is his mountain. Not knowing who you are. Not knowing what grace has made available. It's like someone you give a meal ticket. He does not know the meaning of the meal ticket. He's dying in hunger. He, he has what can survive him for six months. But because he cannot read. Is somebody with me here? Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed 
not because they don't come to church <laughs> not because they don't know the pastor not because they don't give not because they, they are not humble my people are destroyed because they lack knowledge knowledge of who they are knowledge hallelujah listen now so many prayer warriors in church are thinking like failures praying but thinking like defeated people praying are saying all kinds of declaration but they are they they, they are thinking like the victim instead of your declaration to show to the devil he is the victim am i communicating now you know there's a way you are praying you are reminding the devil of how small he is but there's another way you pray you are trying to tell god how big the devil is are, are you seeing the difference now there's a way you pray you remind the devil how how how, how defeated he is in your case but there's another way you pray you are telling god lord look at the size of the devil now it's a mentality it's a mentality so many people praying and praying instead of exercising authority they are negotiating with the devil so many of us praying and praying saying all kinds of things but we are more conscious of the presence of the devil than the presence of god we are more conscious of what the devil is doing about than what god has done already so people want to they want to research they want to know the activities of the devil and they don't know the testimony of Jesus. So we, we, we want to see what is the devil doing. Eh? So the devil can do that. Eh? And we don't know what Jesus has done already. Is somebody with me here? It's time to come to the understanding of what Jesus has done already. First John chapter 4 verse 4. Greater is he that is in you. Greater. Is he that is in you greater, greater? Is he that is in you? Nobody is saying there are no positions out there, but the greater one is here. Nobody is saying there are no, no, no afflictions. Nobody is saying there's no sickness out there, but the greater one is here. Is there a situation in your life you have worried about and prayed over with no result? Everything you are today is a result of the things you said or didn't say yesterday. It's time to take control of your life and situations. In this inspiring and destiny uplifting book written by Sule Emanuel, he shares practical insights on how to talk your way to the top. The author tells us that whatever you want God to endorse, you must first declare. What you don't reject, God cannot destroy. What you don't confess, God will not release. It is your word that makes God work. Order a copy of Talk Your Way to the Top, an anointed and insightful book written by the renowned author and pastor Sule Emanuel. This is a book with practical keys on how to talk your way to success in every area of your life. This timeless classic, Sule Emanuel shares with you seven powerful lessons to take control of your life and any situation. As a book bonus, Talk Your Way to the Top has over 150 prophetic declarations for breakthrough, supernatural provision, divine favor, fruitfulness, marital success, and lots more. This book has indeed been a tool for great testimonies all around the world. Get a copy of Talk Your Way to the Top and your testimony is next. To order for copies and have it delivered to you anywhere in the world, please call plus 234-803-577-6677. Or plus 234-705-485-1181 or plus 277-123-03530 or plus 27-110-666-342. You can also get copies at our bookshop at Omega Farm Ministry International Headquarters, Awuchi Edo State, Nigeria or Omega Farm Ministry, Ramberg, South Africa. You can also make purchases online when you visit www.sudeemmanuel.com. The electronic version of this book is also available on our website. For all inquiries, send an email to info at sudeemmanuel.com. God bless you.
shines of God's words, manifestation of His power and reality of the Holy Spirit. O F M, wiping out tears and we're storming. in the world greater greater this tells you no situation can swallow you no affliction can see you and you know why how can you swallow what is greater than you is somebody getting me now there's there's a how can a child swallow an adult is somebody catching something here the greater one is here how, how can you swallow what is more powerful than you but understand this now consciousness of God is what determines your deliverance consciousness of God is what determines encounter when you keep walking about like a slave the, the, the devil he, he sits on your head he controls you but when there is a consciousness that the greater one lives here every place you enter it shows in your language everything you do it, it, it shows is somebody with me here God consciousness is what determines man's deliverance. God's consciousness. A, a consciousness of God. A God consciousness is, is in me. Is in me. Is in me. You enter any place and people are wondering if you came with a battalion of soldiers. And they are not around me, but he's in me. Are you getting me now? I, did, I didn't come with crowd. I came with him. Is somebody here at all? Can I hear your Amen. Psalms 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I beg you, when you get home, study verse 1 to 16. If I, I pray in the name of Jesus that the light of that scripture will enter you. The, 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 the spirit behind that scripture it will enter you as you study tonight can I get that amen from you now can I get the amen well everywhere I enter everywhere I go I'm supposed to function with a boldness that does not bow before which is why there's a shadow that covers me there's a shadow that covers me. Even if I have to travel outside of the country, travel any part of the world, the shadow of the omnipotent, omniscient God covers me. How can God cover you and you still fear witches? <laughs> it bleeds my heart so much when I see believers afraid of witches. It bleeds my heart. See, I know there's this auntie in our family. She's an established witch. As in confirmed, we no, no no suspicion. You know there are witches you suspect, and there are those who tell you they are. Is that conf confirmed, established, incorporated, registered? Are you, are, you, are you getting me now? It it bleeds my heart when believers tremble before witch doctors. Okay, now you give me that look of. What are you talking about? Uh, okay.
okay. Have you not seen it? That believers are afraid to take gifts from witches. Huh? Ah, you are afraid. I say, no, 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 no. That woman is a witch. Don't take that thing from her. Am I communicating? But have you noticed that witches are not afraid to take gifts from you? <laughs> they are not afraid. Believers are afraid to visit witches. Witches will come with their colleagues. They will visit you. They will eat. They will drink and they go home. Are you getting something here now? You must understand your identity. Take the gift. Am I speaking at all? How can, a, how can a child swallow an adult? Is somebody getting me now? How can a small boy swallow a giant? Come to this understanding. I have made you a God to Pharaoh. Listen now. Whatever you are conscious of controls your life. Whatever you are conscious of. Whatever takes charge of your consciousness controls your life. So if you are conscious of the power of the devil, he controls you. If you are conscious of the wickedness of witches and not the terribleness of your God, not the power of the Most High God, whatever you are conscious of controls your life. Is somebody with me here? It, it bleeds my heart. When I, I see believers saying all kinds of things about some, some kind of defeated witches. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Your ignorance empowers the devil. It, it makes him powerful. It makes him almighty on your case. When the devil sees you don't know who you are, he establishes his stamp on your life. He touches finance. He touches your health. He touches your marriage. He's just playing with you. Why? You don't know who you are. Discover powerful secrets to break free from the forces of limitation, stagnation, and average life in the amazing book, I Reject Stagnation, written by Sule Manuel. In this powerful book, I Reject Stagnation, Sule Manuel has unveiled practical truths from the Word of God to pull you out of insignificance into a realm of relevance, progress, and unending testimonies. In this book, you will discover... 15 factors responsible for delay, average life, and stagnation. The mystery of curses and how they sponsor stagnation in destinies. What to do to break out of the cycle of delay, backwardness, and stagnation. Plus, 50 destiny recovery, burden lifting, yoke destroying prophetic prayer points to put an end to stagnation, delay, and average life. Read this timeless book and discover powerful secrets that will empower you to break free from the yoke of stagnation and average life. To order for copies and have it delivered to you anywhere in the world, please call plus 234-803-577-6676 or plus 234-705-485. 1181 or plus 27712-303-530 or plus 27110666342. You can also get copies at our bookshop at Omega Fire Ministry International Headquarters, Auchi Edo State, Nigeria or Omega Fire Ministry, Ramberg, South Africa. You can also make purchases online when you visit www.suleimanuel.com. The electronic version of this book is also available on our website. For all inquiries, please send an email to info at suleimanuel.com. God bless you. Hello friends, this is Pastor Sule Emmanuel. Do you desire to be in a church where you will be taught the Word of God and the ways of God in a simple and practical manner? Do you need a church that is passionate and determined to see that you prosper and succeed in life? Do you need a praying church with never-ending testimonies and miracles? Do you desire to be part of a church where absolute holiness within and without is preached? 
Do you need a church where you enjoy quality mentorship from your pastor? Do you need a church where every member is a cherished part of one big united family? Do you desire to be in a church where your spiritual gift will be nurtured and used to the glory of God? If your answer is yes, then I invite you to join us at Omega Fire Ministry Ramberg, the land of increase, corner Paris Avenue and Bordex Drive, opposite Ramberg Taxi Rank, Ramberg, Johannesburg, South Africa. You can give us a call at plus two seven one one zero six 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 three four two or plus two seven one one zero four two seven nine seven six or plus two seven seven one two three zero three five three zero please visit our website at www.ofmsouthafrica.co.za you can send us an email to info at ofmsouthafrica.co.za join us at any of our solution services on sundays the first service is a fruitfulness service which starts at 8 30 a.m to 11 a.m and the second service is our destiny restoration service which starts at 4 p.m to 6 p.m tuesday inside for exploit service 5 30 p.m to 7 p.m friday healing and deliverance service 5 30 p.m to 7 p.m saturday breakthrough prayer hour 10 a.m to 11 30 a.m last friday of the month fire and miracle night 10 p.m till dawn ofm ramberg a home to a great people experiencing the miraculous and growing in a deeper relationship with jesus every day